All right, so this is the next video, the first video of the next unit on electric energy. Um, we're going to cover some, some stuff called electric potential, electric potential energy, and then electric potential difference, which you might know as voltage. All right, so electric potential is really the amount of stored, what we call potential energy, at a given location due to the charges around it. So when a charge has a relatively large amount of a potential, that a lot of amount of stored energy, that location is said to be an area of high electric potential. And if it doesn't have a lot of potential, it's a low potential energy. Okay, and the difference between those electric potentials. So the difference between areas of stored energy is called potential difference. And that's actually what you what you measure when you look at a battery. So the there's an area of, a, of this, lots of stored energy, high electric potential, and areas of low elect, low energy. And then when there's a difference, when there's a difference like that, you get what's called a potential difference. So electric potential is stored energy. Energy really associated, like I said, with the charges around it. Okay, so when you measure potential differences, like electric potential differences on a battery, in like 1 volt, 9 volt, 3 volt, 5 volt, you're measuring the potential differences on either side. So one area has a lot of energy stored and the other one has nothing if it's like 5 volt battery. It's a difference of 5 volts, 5 units of electric energy. Okay, they're measured with what's called a voltmeter. And then oftentimes it's going to be called a voltage. In fact, electric potential difference, I'm going to simply refer to as voltage here. So the voltage is the difference in electric potentials. The difference of that stored electric energy between two areas. So, so the electric potential difference has a unit of volt. All right, so this is kind of an interesting little picture here. So the farther you get away from opposite charges, the higher your potential electric potential energy of these charges are. So if you have a bigger difference in potential energy, so like this thing gets farther away from the negative, it's going to have a higher potential to want to be attracted to it because it has a opposite sign as this one does. Okay. So electric potential is that, that potential to go, really to go to some place that has a different charge as it. And the higher, the farther it gets away, the, the greater the potential it has to get closer to what it needs to get to. So again, like, like this picture showed, sorry, like this picture showed, the farther the positive charge gets away, the higher its potential difference is. Okay, so what happens when a positive charge is separated from a positive charge? There's a repulsive force. They go away from each other. Okay. So we got this little diagram here. And we have potential energy decreases as the two charges are moved farther apart. But the electric potential is smaller at points that farther from the positive charge is shown in below. So high V, low V. So as they get closer together, the potential difference decreases when they're opposite charges. When they're like charges, the potential difference decreases as they get farther apart. So opposite charges, the potential difference decreases as they get closer like charges opposite like charges their potential difference in decreases as they get farther away okay because they're opposites so right because you can think about it this way when with the like charges they they have a really strong force pushing outward here and it gets less and less and less as they go farther apart here these guys have a strong potential out here to come flying towards each other, and it decreases as they get closer. Okay. So I know that's kind of a quick overview. Okay. 
but I want to go through the show you some math portions as well with this. So electric potential energy, the energy associated with those areas. The math problem is Coulomb's constant, which we've seen before, times the product of each charge that are interacting, divided by the distance between them. Okay, so UE is what's called the electric potential energy. So you can kind of see the as the product as these two charges go up, so does the potential if their distance remains the same. But when the distance goes up, the electric potential, when they're the same charge, when they're like charges, in decreases. Okay, and Coulomb's constant again, 9 times 10 to the 9th, like we did in the last unit. Okay, so sample problem here. A 5 Coulomb and 3 Coulomb charge is separated by 0.25 meters. We're going to figure out the electric potential difference between them. The electric potential energy difference in energy between them. So we have the formula. We have the Coulomb's constant. We have the charges. And we're looking for the electric potential energy. Okay, so electric potential energy is Coulomb's constant times the product of the charges divided by the difference between them. Okay, so my if I, if I multiply 9 times 10 to the 9th times 5 times 3, I get 135 times 10 to the 9th Newton meters squared divided by my distance of 0.25. I do that 135 divided by 0.25, I get 540 times 10 to the 9th Newton meters. A Newton meter is actually a joule. And 5 point, or 540 times 10 to the 9th joules is 5.4 times 10 to the 11th joules. Okay, so this is the electric potential energy. This is the energy stored at that particular location. And as it gets farther, farther away, the electric potential is going to decrease. Now, the potential difference, the voltage, to calculate that, it's that electric potential energy, really the change in electric potential energy, divided by the charge. Because we're looking at our change in potential differences. Okay, so here's a sample problem. Calculate the charge of an object that has its potential energy decrease from 100 joules to 50 joules. So its energy is dropping when the electric potential decreases by 20 volts. So it drops by 20 volts. It might be from 20 to 0. It might be from 40 to 20. We don't know. So the, pot the potential difference, the voltage, is this change of electric potential energy divided by the charge that's doing the, that's that's moving. Okay. So potential difference is 20 volts. That's my delta V. Delta UE, my change in electric my change in electric potential energy, drops from 100 to 50. So 100 minus 50 is 50 joules. So we're looking for the charge. So, potential difference, my voltage, is change in electric potential energy divided by the charge. Potential difference is 20 volts. Change in electric potential energy, so 100 joules minus 50 joules, so it's 50 joules. And we're looking for Q. So we put in the formula delta V equals delta Q over QO, or delta UE divided by QO. Delta V is 20. Delta UE, change in potential energy, is 50, 50 joules divided by QO. So I'm going to multiply both sides by QO first. So I get 20V equals QO equals to 50 joules. And to isolate QO by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 20. So QO is 50 joules divided by 20 volts, which is 2.5 joules. Now, that's actually the end of this. Okay, but to refresh a couple things. So electric potential is at stored energy, and the difference is your voltage. The difference in electric potentials are your voltage. Okay, and every, for each stored location, there's, a, there's some sort of stored electric potential energy. Okay. And that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you answer the questions on the, on the form below. Thank you very much.